Now, historically speaking, Christianity as it is preached today began spreading throughout the earth approximately 600 years ago. That's all. That's all. So what happened between the time that the historical Jesus walked the earth to when the King James Version of the Bible surfaced in 1611? which is a whopping 1,600 years after Jesus walked the earth. Now, if Jesus was in fact the Messiah at that time, where is the eternal kingdom of God that he spoke of? It couldn't have been produced in 1,600 years. But history shows that during the 1,600-year period to this day, wars have raged throughout Europe, and throughout the known world as people sought to enslave other people, acting out the mind that Yaqub installed in the Caucasian people. And this is the history that we have, world history that we have, and this is the world history that we know. But how many so-called Christian preachers deliberately take this up in their sermon? So let's return to the Gospel of Luke. Well, Jesus isn't finished chiding or giving his disciples a beat down for what he heard them talking about as they didn't recognize him as Jesus, but some stranger. So again, Jesus fortifies his position that he is fulfilling the prophecies of the Old Testament. So continuing it states, and he, Jesus, said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. Then opened he, meaning Jesus, their understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, and said unto them, Thus it is written. Here we go. And thus it behooved Christ to suffer, to rise from the dead the third day, and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name among all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Well, let's go after this a little bit. This Jesus declares that all things must be fulfilled that were written in the Torah in the writings of the Old Testament prophets based on the Torah, and in the Psalms, which is also based on the Torah. But none of this that was written in these writings was fulfilled 2,000 years ago. Yet this Jesus establishes his authenticity based on the fulfillment of the Messianic prophecies. It's like saying, I'm this one because I fulfilled this, but you didn't. So how can you be that one? Now, even more, this narrative shifts away from the direct purpose for which the Son of Man, the Messiah, was to come into the world. And once again, that is the redemption of the lost sheep, the enslaved seed of Abraham. We will not get past that. So you got to prove today where those people are. We've already proven who they are. And we have the history of the Caucasian people. So we know it ain't them. 